Oh, dude. Dude, it's grassy. Oh, come on, man. Whew. What's going on, everyone? We're here at the Bower Sox Dam in Lawrence, Kansas right now. Great spot for catfishing usually, but today, obviously chasing down some carp. So hopefully, it all works out for us. We can, we can hope anyway. So if you're looking forward to this video, make sure you pack your tackle box, hit the like button, and get ready for some fish, everybody. I think there's a fish on there. Feels like a fat fish. I'm underneath it. I'm trying to pull him over. Guess it doesn't show that, does it? What's it? It's a freaking mirror, man. Looks like it anyway. I caught a mirror here last time. Now he's pulling out line. Oh no, maybe he just caught him. He looked, he looked, just for a second, he looked special. He's special in his own way. Good job. Not a bad fish either. Good deal. Top notch. First fish of the day. Already getting more bleeps. Ugh. And he is a long dude. Not very big though. What do you think, Laura? Two, two, three pounds? I give me four. You give me four? Oh, you're a, you're a nice guy. He does have a few glitter glittery scales you were wondering maybe it was like a regrowth or something like you lost the something. scales it makes you curious but yeah not bad for a first fish get him back in the water now he gave us a fun little fight which is always nice Alrighty, i'm just gonna toss this guy in kind of uh tossed himself in but got him out to water well that's our uh camp for uh for the day while we wait for some more fish so uh it's gonna keep us out of the sun which is nice but uh we've got many more fish to catch so uh let's get into it you call the fish in while you start eating my sausage that's the way to do it swear to god what is up with this freaking drone <laughs> three times now three times now lord places to fish have no fly zones yeah best places to fish have no fly zones i guess what is the deal man that is ridiculous uh, poor little drone. Poor little drone. He'll never get to fly. Oh, I think he came off. No. He's got to be on there. No, he's just going down the screen. You got him? He's probably the same fish I just got. Oh, no, oh. no, I fished like awesome. Sad day, mm -hmm. Lord. Now, you better play some dramatic music. We gotta get a close up and show how sad you are. Uh. It's a car. Woo! All right. I did not expect to catch this fish. Oh, and it was on the one I said I had all the. I just put this one on and said it's going to work so well. Head up, head up, head up, head up. In the middle. All right. The little guy here. I like him, though. Yeah, he's a spunky little river fella. Whoa, I'm falling backwards. There we go, that's the view. That's the view. What was your game plan on that one, Lauren? Well, that was just to put some bait on and hope for the best, you know? <laughs> that's all you can do sometimes out here on the river. So, river. you know, I uh, I trusted in my blueberry pack bait and I've got my, uh, I think it's a plum tiger nut uh, with uh, bait on it. So, you know, nice. all these weird terms, but uh, caught this little guy. He's going to get yeeted back in the water in a second because I do not want to get stuck in this mud. Woo! 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 Release safely. Woo! Taking out some line there, pal. Glad I got fresh line on here. What's it feel? It feels decent, but everything feels decent on these rods, so I don't like to like necessarily judge what I've got. I mean, it doesn't feel like one of those fish that are like, they're just like immovable. Ooh. He's got some energy, I'll give him that. Uh, uh. <laughs> I'm in a better place. Mentally and physically? Yeah, I mean, 
you know, I was not in, in a good place until I watched BZ Hub's video this morning of, you know, just uplifting music and yeah. videos of flowers. And... Dogs from a colder place on this planet. Let me ask you this though, did you expect this speech? I didn't, um, you know. I did say around 9 o'clock, which is now 9.03, so I probably did get this fish at 9 o'clock that a little special thing we like to call magic hour would start. Yeah, take what you can get sometimes. <gasps> it's not even that glorious. So second fish of the day, a little dirty, getting a little bit warmer out here. We did hit magic hour like, you know, like I had said. So. I'm hoping these rods right here to the uh, south side of me uh, start to catch. But so far, not too bad. We no. still got lots of time. At least I know where not to step now. This has just become a lower in fishing video. Is this like a biopic or whatever? Let me tell you how I got my start. Lonely seven-year-old boy having to go to his dad's house and he didn't like his dad's house, so. There was a pond nearby. Oh, I'm actually gonna tell this story, huh? And, uh, <laughs> and so instead of sitting in the house where I didn't like being, I would go steal one of my dad's fishing rods and a can of corn. A seven-year-old little boy would just go sit next to a pond all day and fish for bluegill and whatever would bite the line. Thus began my obsession with fishing. Beautiful story. Sad music off. Yeah. Back to the They all keep running up river, but I got my rod not in a pod so I can go underneath. Better. Yeah, he's a good fish, he's man. Free willing and out of the water here. It's all in that one rod, it's just like in that one spot of casting. Probably happened is all that corn you threw in, the eddy pushed it that way. <laughs> Mm. I don't think this is a bad fish at all. Big enough. 13, 14, let's see. Oh, come on. In. Right. It's that bag weighs quite a bit, isn't it? So 6.6 ish. Six point six, so or thirteen point four. Yeah. So good river fish. It's about time we got one. Got a, got a little bit of a humpage on its head. Oh yeah. That's cool. Can't complain about that. Want a picture of him? Sure. Boy, it tore off, but I don't think he's very big. <gasps> dude, dude, it's grassy. I think so. Man. Not a bad one. No, come on, dude. Ah, I just saw a picture from the Kansas Department of Fish or whatever that had like 30 of these things on a boat. Well, I'm just saying. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Whew. Golly, dude. I'm just glad I finally caught one. Nice to get it out of the way. Boy, it really tore, tore off though, didn't it? Oh yeah. Boy, he's got quite a dome on him, doesn't he? Good for right now? Uh, I suppose so. Why would you do that, Lauren? I don't even know where this fish is. It doesn't feel very big. Have what die? I didn't have that first fish die. Okay, okay. I don't know. Rotate. Rotate. Now I'm reeling in a buff and he's reeling in a carp. No, I'm, oh, okay. Nope. I'm, Never mind. I'm sticking with the carp. Honestly, just surprised that I haven't done anything with this other rod at the moment. It feels so weird to ro reel in with your left hand. Who does that? Yeah. He's coming. Got him. Oh, oh yours just tried to free Willie out of there. <laughs> How about that? Well, three fish at the same time. Just had to make this difficult, didn't you, Lauren? Well, how about this for a first? There we go. Finally, 
got ourselves a grass carp after all this time and I didn't get it out in the park where they're just leisurely swimming around and you watch them there the entire time. No, we ended up getting it in a river of all things, of all places. So uh, right on. This is honestly probably uh, one of those carp that they uh, don't really like having in the river, to be honest, because they're not supposed to breed, but these ones in the river they seem to. In the river, yeah. yeah, so uh, that's not exactly great, but it's a, it's a big fish, a lot of fun to bring in. That rod just absolutely tore off. So uh, yeah, ton of fun. Let's get some picks and uh, throw them back in. Well, we'll resuscitate them. These guys kind of struggle sometimes when they're out of water. This dude's going back. Alrighty. Let's see what we got here. It's actually almost. Well, I guess he's a tiny bit larger than yours. But at the same time, the mat's now wet. So, uh, th 13 and a half pounds or so. Nice. We can estimate him. Make sure he's all good to go at some point. So, I'm just kind of grabbing him by the tail. I can kind of feel the strength in his tail at this point, too. Yep, splashing a little bit of water, which is great. Whoa! Getting my crotch watery. See how. <laughs> Let him go for a second and he goes belly up. He's got strength, but he doesn't have the strength he needs to continue swimming. All right, he's been here for a little bit now. There he goes. Gave him a little bit of time, and that's all he needed to get his strength back. Well, this has been fun. My God, we went out last week, got my first buff, got my PB carp, uh, common carp. This week, first grassy, and uh, not a monster by any means, but what, 13, 13 and a half pounds, I guess. Good start, I think, anyway. Double digits, good way to start with the grassies. They get much bigger than that, six seven times that weight so we'll just have to see what we can do in the future i guess you never know ready? 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 It's all gone. nope she there well finally we got another fish this is the one i i cast it out into the rapids how's it feel uh, it feels all right i don't like to judge on people I'm, I'm, I'm like literally spread legged on, <sighs> on this these rocks here i try not to screw up all your rods in the meanwhile yeah break it off again Water when he first did. I, I saw a fish jump out of water. I wasn't sure what it was. All right, grassy boy, grassy boy. What is that? Grassy boy. Everyone knows that song. They're kind of a, a pain to net, man. There we go. Guess it's top notch. Yeah, it's all right. Orange rods are taking off. Boy, grassy just jumped out of the water like two feet. Yeah, it's the left left rod again. Now that I'm reeling it in, it's probably gonna be the first catfish or something. There you go, I'll take over. Okay. Good. And I'll resume filming with the GoPro. Oh, and I'm under it, dude. I was gonna say, I think you, you actually have it. You can reel it in together. It's like co-op yeah. fishing. Oh, just broke off. That's okay. I do declare accidents do happen. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, I'm about to fall in. <laughs> Golly, dude. Uh, what is that? Lower I think in? that's eight. I'm ready? Yeah. Top notch. Good work. Toss him. Well, everyone, this has been a adventure, I think, anyway. Lauren's over here trying to uh, untie this tangle that he just did for the second time. Did you threw last time? That's very true. We didn't break off this time. Anywho, if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful in any way, maybe you're thinking about doing some carp fishing near you and just watching, just watching the video, you're, you're just learning so much stuff, you know, consider hitting that like button. And if you want to see more videos like in this in the future, hit the subscribe because we'd love to have you stick around. But Anyway, if you want to check out Low Ren, the fake outdoorsman, on his Instagram, make sure you uh, I don't know, type, do this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Type in, type in uh, the little name that popped up right there, and uh, yeah. Till the next episode, everyone. Take care. We'll see you next time. And as always, remember everyone.
If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe for more content in the future. Feel free to check out a few of our other videos on the Modern Day Outdoorsman or check out BZ Hub, our outdoor gaming channel, with new videos every week.